Okay, so here are two sample questions that may appear on the TSI test. So this one is dealing with a bar graph. And the question is, it says the graph from the U.S. Department of Agriculture shows the growth of farmers markets in the United States. Based on the pattern in the graph, the number of farmers markets in the U.S. in 2008 will likely, and then our choices are stay the same, increase to more than 4,500, decrease to less than 4,000, or increase to more than 6,000. So my first piece of advice for you is that anytime you get a word problem, whether that word problem is tied to a graph or not, I want you to look in the word problem and see, okay, what is it that I need to find? What is it that they're asking me to find? And then we're going to start with that and then build our way up. So first it says, based on the pattern. So we're gonna have to figure out what the pattern is so that we can figure out, okay, what's gonna happen to the farmer's markets in the US in 2008? If I look down at my bar graph, I have 1994 through 2006. So we don't have 2008 on the graph. So they're w wanting to know, okay, what will happen if we did have 2008 on this graph? What's most likely to happen? It's good to note that every two years is being recorded, 1994 to 96, 96 to 98, 2000 to 2002. It's increasing by two years. So 2008 will be the very next bar on this bar graph. So now we just have to figure out, okay, so what's the pattern between each year? And that's pretty simple to find. So what I would do is for each year, I would just try to figure out, okay, how much or how many farmer's markets were there in each year? So I'll make my little line over. So in 1994, there are about 1,800 farmer's markets. In 1996, there are about 2,400 2400 farmer's markets. And then in 1998, I'm going to draw a line over. That is about 2,800 farmer's markets. And I'm going to do this for every one of the years. In 2000, it was kind of very close to that. So I'm going to say probably 2,900 farmer's markets. In 2002, 2002, that looks like it's about 3,200 farmer's markets. And I'm just estimating, I'm just guessing... Um, 2004, it looks like there's about 3,700 farmer's markets. And then in 2006, hmm, 2006 looks like there's about 4,200 farmer's markets. Okay, so now let's see how much they're increasing each time because every time they're increasing. So it's good to note that part of the pattern is continually to increase. So let's see how much they're increasing by. So 2,400 minus 1,800, that's an increase about 600. So to go from 2,400 to 2,800, that's an increase about 400. From 2,800 to 2,900, that's an increase about 100. From 2,900 to 3,200, that's a larger jump. That's about 300. And 3,200 to 3,700, again, a larger jump. That's about 500 of an increase. And then from 3,700 to 4,200, that's an increase of 500. So we're starting to see that between each year, there's an increase um, about 500 or 600 maximum. So we're going to see if 2008 was the very next year, it's most likely to increase by about how much. So like we said, each year, the maximum increase was like 600. The minimum was 100. So it's either going to increase between 100 and 600. Okay, so let's just pretend like it's the maximum. Let's pretend it increases the maximum amount. 4,200 plus 600 is 4,800. So let's just have that as our estimate of what may happen in 2008. And let's see if any of these answers support that. So it says in 2008, will it stay the same? No, 
because none of these bars, none of these years have stayed the same. They have all been increasing. So then what else can we eliminate? We can also eliminate C because each year they have been increasing. Not a single bar has been decreasing. So we know that our answer is not going to be decreasing. So what is more likely to happen? In 2008, that it increased to more than 4,500 farmers markets or that it will increase to more than 6,000 farmers markets. So we estimated it to be about 4,800 in 2008. Is that closer to 4,500 or to 6,000? It's closer to 4,500. So it would be our estimate that in 2008, the number of farmers markets is going to increase to more than 4,500. The other reason why we didn't choose D is because in order for it to increase to more than 6,000, that means in order to go from 4,200 to 6,000, it would have to increase so much more than it's ever increased in the past. So we know that this is just too large of an estimate for that to be correct. So we are going to stick with our answer B. It's going to increase to more than 4,500. So just as a review for this, they asked us to look for the pattern. Based on that pattern, what's most likely to happen in 2008, we were able to see that the pattern was increasing. So that was good to note. And it was also good to see about how much it increased each year, which was between 100 and 600. So we were able to choose the correct answer, which is B. Okay, so that was a mouthful, but we have another problem that we're going to do together. So now we are moving from a bar graph to a pie chart. And so a pie chart is a pie chart for that exact reason. It looks like it is in the shape of a pie and it's cut up into different pieces. So according to the pie chart, how many people 41 years or older own a cell phone? So we're gonna look at our pie chart and see, okay, 41 years or older. So you're probably gonna go to this one. So you're gonna assume that 41 to 50 years old, that's 41 years or older, own a cell phone, and that's 14%. 14% of the total amount of cell phone users. But I have a question for you. Do you see any other piece in the pie chart that represents people that are 41 years or older? Okay, so what about this one? I know it doesn't say 41 years old, but is a 51 year old 41 years or older? Yes, they're older. So this group is included too. So 51 year olds are older, so we have to include them. So this is represented by 34%. So what we have to do is we have to add 34 plus 14, which is equal to 48%. And we're trying to find 48% of the total. So 48% of 72,345,000. All right, so I'm going to kind of transfer this over so that we can have some more space to work on this problem. So 48% of 72,345,000. So how do we find the percent of a number? It's a very simple way to do it. First, we need to change this 48% into a decimal. 48% into a decimal is you just start right here at the percentage sign and then move the decimal over to to the left. So 48% as a decimal is 0.48. Of, we change of to a multiplication symbol and then we keep this number the same, 72,345,000. Okay, so now it's just a simple multiplication, point 48 times 72,345,000 and you end up getting 
725,600 people who are 41 years or older who own a cell phone? So the answer would be C. My piece of advice would be, anytime you see a problem with a pie chart, please be very careful that you look all around the pie chart to make sure that whatever they're make, asking you for, whatever they're asking you to find, that it's not just included in just one. Because they wanted you to say, okay, this is the only piece of the pie chart that fits in what they're looking for. Your eye goes straight to this one, and it kind of thinks that, okay, all the other pieces of the pie chart don't fit into what they're asking me. That is a trick. <laughs> Please don't fall for the trick. Look all around the pie chart to see, okay, does any of the other pieces of the pie chart fit in what they're asking me for? And that's when we were able to see, okay, this one too fits in as well. And so we were able to combine both percentages, and then we were able to find our answer of 34725600 All right, so that's all for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.